What is up, guys? It's no risk, no premium here. Back with another episode of the Two a Minute Drill. Well, first off, I want to say thank you for all the wishes to, for me to get better. After I made the Two Minute Drill last night, I went straight to bed and slept for like I don't even know how long, longer than I've slept in a long time, and it felt great. So today, feel good. So thank you, everybody. Now, did the market feel good? Not really. <laughs> Market shrugged off every single support level you could think of today until it finally caught its bottom about 391. In reality, 393 held, which we were expecting either 393 or 390 below to hold. So plan for this week and the remainder is as long as 390 holds on any back test, you'll want to get long. Okay, you'll want to get long. Okay, we were, we were talking about possibly having some range consolidation chop into the data for next week. We know the market will be waiting for that. Is this it? I do want to make note of one thing, though. 200 day moving average was here, 403, and this downtrend line was here. This is a pure rejection, okay, of both the 200 day moving average and now the down trend line. So if you were going to get long, I'd be very wary of a back test of 403. Okay, I would fully anticipate the market to reject there. If it doesn't already reject at 400, where we pretty much fell out of the sky today. Okay, today. So plan for tomorrow is this. It's really simple. It's very straightforward. Okay. I am looking at this. I am looking for either a test of today's low, right? Just depending where we open right now, right? We short squeezed in a close, which was good. Okay. It seemed like a lot of shorts were covering. Right, so does that mean we go up from here? It could be, but it could be if we open up decently flat or at or near 395 level here that we know is pretty dominant. <clears throat> we could have some scene selling at open and maybe try to fake people out to the downside. So I would look for either one, a back test of 391.65, pretty much stays low, or even 390 right here. I'd look for a possible wick down. That's where I'd want to take a long. Okay, through 395, we pretty much are going to go try this 400 again. 400 to 403 is definitely going to be a initial short. Okay. Up until really 390 breaks or 410, 11 breaks, everything in here is going to be noise. It's going to be trap filled. It's going to try to get you shaken out. Okay. So know that if we know that this is going to be the range for this week so far, possibly this 391 area, right? All the way to 403. Okay, know that you'll want to buy support and sell resistance. That's it. Really simple. So plan tomorrow. Watch for a, a double, possible double bottom or fake down to the to the downside here to possibly long 390, 391. Okay, take it to 395. From there, you take it to 400. Okay, buy time on your contracts, guys. The market's been volatile. Buy time on your contracts. All right. That's all I got, though, guys. Very simple, straightforward. Look for the double bottom long at 390, 391 tomorrow. Okay, ride that on up to 395 96 400 403 above there if we get groovy to 400 look for a possible scalp short at there or 403 depending where we open other than that guys wake up early jobless claim numbers in the morning nope jobless claim numbers on thursday okay get your levels right and of course don't do anything fucking stupid i'll see you bright and early peace